Hey guys, uh, this is Christian here. <clears throat> I got a really busy week coming this week, but uh, uh, while I have just a few minutes to spare, I thought I'd do a little laser disc update because I got a, uh, I think about five new ones, and uh, I'm gonna make another laser disc versus DVD soon after this week. Uh, it's just real stressful trying to get some stuff done, and uh, just wanted to keep y'all updated on what's going on. Uh, I haven't made a video in a little while, so I figured I'd do this real quick. And I got some laser discs, so let's let's check these out because these are pretty cool. Um, the first one I have is Caddyshack 2. Um, this was a sequel that you know wasn't well received that much, but uh, got the opportunity to get this for just a couple bucks, and uh, I really enjoyed this uh, movie. I thought it was uh, charming. It was kind of you know it was cute. I guess, uh, it wasn't bad, um, I guess this guy was kind of supposed to be kind of like a rip-off of, not a rip-off, but, you know, I think, uh, this was supposed to be, uh, Roddy Dangerfield, he was supposed to take this part in the movie, but when he read the script and didn't like it, he, uh, signed off of it, so, there's Caddyshack 2, the next one we have is Psycho 4, The Beginning, um, now, uh, some people don't realize that um, with the Psycho movies, there was actually four of them, not including the 1998 remake. Um, this was uh, the last installment. This was actually a television movie. And this came out in 1990, directed by Mick Garris, who is a very good director. And Anthony Perkins is in it. It's about his childhood, but, the, but the, there still is kind of like a main story going on with Anthony um, or Norman Bates in real time. And you can still, it's a good story, it still takes place in the house, and, uh, it's a good movie, I really like it, um, uh, one of the people that's in the movie is, uh, if you remember the movie It, um, this girl, she plays Norman Bates' mother, and I'm sure you recognize her if you've seen It, um, uh, young, young, uh, Norman Bates is played by some kid, I don't remember his name, but he did a good job, um, He's supposed to kind of be like an awkward character, and uh, Norman Bates, of course, or Anthony Perkins was absolutely fabulous in the movie, and I really like the cover art for this, so really, really cool having this, because I really do enjoy Psycho 4, the beginning. So there's that. The next one, let me flip it around. I should have maybe done this backwards, but oh well. Here's actually Psycho 3, um, which took place in 1986. Um, this uh, part 2... Uh, Psycho 2 is, I think, in 82, and then, you know, before we had the original Psycho. Psycho 3, um, is actually my favorite sequel. It's a very, it's a very good movie, and there's some really cool action scenes in it, believe it or not. Um, so after part 2, the way it ends is, um, Norman finds out that his quote-unquote real, his real mother had, uh, given him up to adoption to, uh, the woman that raised him. Um, as a kid, and so now at the end of part two, you see that he hits his real mother with a shovel, and you f you come to find out that he has then stuffed her like he does his birds and keeps her in the house, and you kind of learn that Norman uh, he's not just uh, distraught by his mother and that he you know he's kind of sickened and sickened by her to uh, want to keep her alive in, in his head and make her talk to him, but he's kind of compelled to do it in a way. When you watch part three, you really notice that, and uh, <clears throat> it makes perfect sense. I actually read a, a review Roger Ebert did of this movie, and that's what he thought. He says you really get to see that Norman's compelled to keep his mother alive, and uh, uh, it was a really good movie. He, this movie was actually directed by uh, Anthony Perkins himself, and he did a phenomenal job. The action scene is a really great scene where uh, he's fighting with one of the guys in the movie, and uh, he actually, they, they're they in the car, and the car goes underwater, and uh, they fight to the death. And uh, it was an extremely well done scene. So, uh, and of course, you still have the lovely house. So, there's Psycho 3. Next we have The Blob. This is a really awesome movie, guys. I love The Blob. Um, the cover is really great on this. Um, I think the cover looks really cool. I like these laser discs where they kind of like it's this picture and on the side you kind of get the disc popping out. I think that's really cool for some reason. Um, 
it's a good transfer. Definitely a really good transfer. Um, I compared it to the DVD, and uh, it was pretty damn good. But uh, I didn't film it, so I don't know if it'll be an episode of Laser Disc Wars DVD. But everybody knows this. This is one of the few remakes, in my opinion, that I think was... I don't know if you want to say better than the original. But definitely on par as far as cult status. And, you know, everybody really likes this film. And come to my surprise, I didn't know that Shawnee Smith, who was... Uh, in the, all the uh, Saw movies, she was actually in this. She was young. This was 1988, and I believe she was an 18-year-old girl when she did this movie. So that's really neat. So there's the blob. And last but not least, this is really cool. This is actually the Blair Witch Project. Um, this movie came out in 1999, um, and we all know Laserdiscs died out pretty much that year, you know. But some films were still made, and... Uh, Luckily enough, this one was. So slot up. There we go. Um, it still has the original seal on it. And uh, a really great laser disc. I might note that uh, here's the back. First of all, I really love the imagery with the, uh, I guess the witch cross, if you will. I love that scene where they're going through the woods and they see that. Um, but I will I will add that uh, there's actually okay there's a side one you know there's two discs side one and side two, and there's actually a second disc. Uh, where's it at? Oh right here the second disc is actually a uh, I mean of course it's a fake documentary because we know that the movie was not quote unquote real and like it really happened, but there's actually a, a whole disc uh, for, uh, on a documentary about how these kids died and. All that stuff. I mean, they really sold this movie hard back in 1999 that it was a real, like it really happened. And you know, they could because the internet wasn't so prominent. They could get away with things, and they really sold this as if it were was a, a real movie. So there's a they they filmed this like fake documentary with mem with like fake members of the family of the people the three the three actors that are in this movie saying that they you know talking about how. They miss them and that they're dead. You know, it was insane. You know, but it was a, it was actually still an uh, entertaining documentary. But uh, that's this laser disc update, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be busy the rest of this week. But as soon as I can, I'll do another DVD versus laser disc. So thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed this.